I just watched a video, a very funny video, uh, that it's um, it's called "Being Ugly: My Experience," and I was like so angry, and and then I related so much to this video, and I just wanted to throw a hint here. You can find the the video picture right here. Being ugly, uh, it's my experience. Mm. but I never give up so I could say that everyone in this earth can say that they have been ugly in their experience and this is why this video have so many views I believe but uh, I, I really disagree uh, with, with a lot of things on this first 15 minutes that this guy talk about it and I just wanted to comment here uh, you can agree disagree laugh with me if you want to so um, he was talking about his ugly first 14 years of age of his life I don't know a human being that has felt gorgeous like I don't know everybody i know have their insecurities and only really crazy and really dangerous sociopathic people think that they are perfect that everything is okay with them and i think we should fear these people that think everything is okay uh, honestly the number of the girls this guy tried to talk to is insane i was introvert myself and i never ever tried to talk to I couldn't talk to people because I was afraid to talk to people. I was afraid of being judged in front of someone. Uh, so the the very interesting thing, number two, which I want you to all think about it. The problem of being ugly is not the way you look. Being ugly is the way you uh, act with yourself, the way you wear yourself. I remember the guy would show his skin like, Oh, can you see? I have something here. I have something here. I have, uh, I, I didn't sleep much. It's blue here under me. I have something here on the floor. So he spent 15 minutes showing. Oh, look, I have a fat over here. Like he showed the things that he told that you guys would enjoy. And there's a lot of people that enjoy to see other people's misery because they're miserable themselves and they like to see more miserable people because they relate and they feel a little bit higher, right? There is a lot of people that choose their friends in the base how miserable this person is. If it's more miserable than them, than them, this mean is a good friend. If it's less miserable, they cannot deal with it because they want to surround themselves with people that are lower level in order to feel uplifted. And this is like a psychological tactic that people use, the losers use. I'm apologizing if you feel loser. I don't mean to offend you, but I always had one rule in my life and I always try to find if I'm going to talk to a person, this is one rule that I would, they have to know something more than me in certain area. And this doesn't mean they have to be super educated. They could know more about marijuana. They could more, know more about how being homeless, hiking, climbing, painting, whatever is it about this person. And it doesn't matter. They have to have one thing that they're better than me. If they don't have this, I am not going to talk to this person. I'm not going to be interested in of this person. I'm not going to be attracted to, to exchange with them. If I judge in my head that this person has nothing, that he's better than me, and I'm talking including guys, and I'm talking including people that I date or I have intimate relations with, they have to be better than me in something. Because I cannot be inspired by, by someone who curse every second words and stay in small village mindset and, and believe that they know everything, but they actually have not actual experience, actual way to express this knowledge, practically to be something more than me. So 
it could be humble too this is also being some because i'm not humble i'm super educated i don't need to be humble i actually am very much a, re a, revolu a revolutionary person i'm like i tend to fight a lot ask my best friend about this so i like to fight sometimes just for dumb things you know and she knows that already so we can fight and and then we know that we still love each other right but i'm talking about uh when we want to surround ourselves with commissary so we could feel a little bit better right so this is the first the first part of the of this compassion is being alone being alone on new year why you gotta be so miserable are you so bad like are you so miserable inside that you hate your own company and if you do hate your own company how you want me to love it so you have to make few steps to start loving your own company and then I, of course i'm gonna love it but the number two things very important that i notice in this video we don't we are not born with knowledge about being beautiful we don't know what beautiful when we're kids we don't care about being beautiful we just want to play we want to go in the mud we want to fight we want to i remember i played with frogs until i was 12 with my best friend we're gonna scare guys with the frogs i mean who cared to be beautiful as a child you're not born with this concept of beauty you don't know what a beautiful is you don't know if you're ugly if you're bad or fat but from the outside in in this case the guy said his friends told him that he was ugly well my relative told me that i was ugly that i was fat that there was something wrong with me so all these standards about the beauty it's something that someone from the outside told you but for example the standard beauty is blue eyes guy with blonde hair like if you go to these poor countries i'm talking about all the hispanic country if you go to eastern europe all the books the novels that you read will be guy with blue eyes and blonde hair. you don't read romance with normal guy that will have brown eyes i never liked blue eyes blonde hair but i met someone who is extraordinary and i love this person for who he is inside right so we accept this standard like this guy he accepted his friends say uh i'm ugly and he believed it and he accepted yes he's not attractive guy but they ha i have seen way more unattractive people than him right he find so just because he profoundly believes that he is ugly and he deserved the worst he find ugly girlfriend who would abuse him so another misconception of the society is that if you're ugly you gotta be abused so it's kind of you gotta be punished but if you're beautiful too they punish you and they're cruel to you because they think that you look good i was abused because i look beautiful and i should have been punished for that because in the head of someone I look good i never feel beautiful in my life i do feel beautiful right now but 35 years of my life i was convinced that i was fat and ugly and i had a million and one problems right until i work on myself and refuse to accept this limiting belief which is uh something i'm suggesting to you uh being ugly your own experience and so basically this guy slid himself to the girlfriend uh in order to be accepted or i don't know just because he wanted so badly to have a girlfriend well he showed very unhealthy pattern first of all the need of being abused and he accept this for a long time because he had to walk behind her because he was ugly like what about you being human what about you being respected what about you deserving some respect so basically he was saying that he would pay for this girl a bunch of things so literally she was using him and she was also treating him as a crap so the problem is not how you look the problem is how you think because if you think ugly you accept ugly what this girl do it's way more ugly than the way you look 
by the way it's it's really ugly to treat a person like a dog there is nothing more ugly than this i believe and nothing more unattractive but i believe the problem is that this guy developed a lot of unhealthy patterns mentally unhealthy and he needs therapy this is my opinion the problem is that this guy believes that he is not beautiful and in his head mean unlovable and what mean unlovable to him harming self-harming actions and to talk about alcohol alcohol another alcohol then he talk about another girlfriend how she abused him basically uh he just like if you watch the video until the end because it's quiet about an hour or so you find out how this guy uh, drink and make drunk contacts with people uh, because he has fear to accept that he's traumatized and he have fear to request respect right so what it's my disappointment of this video because the first part i was kind of admiring him and then in the end i was like oh poor guy he so many unhealthy patterns like this guy is really lazy to work on himself and it's so nice to see somebody miserable like uh so but somebody that oh i'm so ugly look my ugly parts da, 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 da. no this is so different it's like oh i show my ugliness around it's like i'm bragging for attention it's nice to be a victim and uh i, I think that what is most disturbing about this video is like the superficiality of it uh oh maybe i will consider if you have the same mindset it doesn't matter how you look from the outside uh nothing is gonna change you're gonna look in the mirror and you're gonna be stressed and you're gonna be like oh my goodness you're gonna be afraid to request respect because the first job that somebody have all these things that in this video this guy talk about is to do therapy and accept yourself and yes, I can agree if he wants after three, five years with good therapist, accepting himself, being able to request respect, being able to say what he wants and stand for it, he will not have all these insecurities and all these mindsets that society teach him and he will be okay. Yeah, I met a guy, he said, you know, I know I'm ugly. But I'm still cute in my ugliness and he was attractive he was a nice company you know so as they say the beauty come from the inside I was very angry when I saw this video I just wanted to hop up and make this comment for you guys write me a comment what do you think about being ugly do you ever feel ugly I think we all ever feel ugly I we have days that we feel real ugly and other days that we feel oh it's okay I'm okay uh, some days we receive love and we feel really accepted and we feel this warm feeling and we say oh okay it's gonna be okay my life it's okay i'm gonna make it with all my defects right for me being fat for example i've been feeling fat all my actually i was convinced that i was fat every fucking day from of my childhood i was convinced that there was many wrong things with me and now i don't care what these people think so accept yourself what i'm saying is working on yourself and not giving other people to tell you who you are what you are and if you self-degrade yourself daily what do you want to be you gotta get up and work on yourself don't be so lazy you uh that says my experience being ugly that's everything i say thank you for being here thank you for watching sharing and subscribing write me a comment below about your experience being ugly thank you and bye-bye